are light and the light contains all colors. It also contains the colors you don't see yet. Then, in life you find the fog, you walk in dust. And so your colors are blurred. The sufferings remove their shine. Tears fade them. But if light is in your heart, be sure that the colors are in you. You must simply sprinkle them. Make them shiny again. Comment. At the beginning of the journey of growth, it may happen that we are so taken by all the new knowledge, engaged in what it leads us to do, that we give less importance to the physical body. Discovering these new things that attract us much and give us new joys, what is commonly called spiritual, we run the risk not to give other things their real value. Angels help us to live everything with balance. They teach us to detach ourselves from the illusions of the world and, at the same time, to love everything there is in the world. They help us to understand that nothing is safe, durable, and so everything must be lived with a certain detachment, without feeling anything as essential. They urge us to rejoice for things that we possess, that surround us, to draw from them all the pleasure, to express gratitude for everything. Luminous soul, you will experience this reality yourself, the more you remember that what you have is temporary, that what you're experiencing is temporary, the more you will be able to draw from it new joys and pleasures. You will discover the ability to savor everything in a more intense way. If you think what you have, what you can do in life today, maybe tomorrow you won't have any more, you will no longer be able to do or live, you will live intensely all, enjoy it totally, you'll get the maximum from everything, and give everything you can. If you remember this temporariness, it becomes natural to worry less for unpleasant things, certain that those will pass too. So it will also be for the suffering, the obstacles, the difficulties. Angels help us to live with that balance the relationship with our physical body too. Let's learn to give as much space as possible to the soul and the heart, living firstly for the soul, and, at the same time, knowing how to give the necessary attention and importance to the body, doing everything that can strengthen it, make it bright. This is because the body is the medium that the soul has chosen to make this journey. Without it the soul cannot live the program chosen, it cannot grow and evolve. The angels collaborate with us to make the body strong and bright, infusing the light and their love, operating in it the alchemy required. And so we can make the body a light that accompanies the soul. Remember that your body is like a beautiful vase. It must always be well dusted, cleaned, and made shiny inside and out. So it can contain the pure love, the light. Care about this face, and pour in it a lot of love and light, so it's easier for me to work in it and instill what it needs. If you want to make it bright, in many moments you can ask yourself. If I were to donate now this face to my angel, who loves me, would it be a vase ready to be donated? Did I remove all the dust? Does it contain only clear water? This question will help you to see and feel your body like a precious vase, to do all that is needed to make it bright. In this way you will help me to make it even more precious, more bright, ready to be donated. With love and light you can wrap it, fill it and, slowly, transform it to allow me to transform it. With love I accompany you in shaping this beautiful vase, you allow me to shape you with love and light. Give your body a lot of attention, care, love, and listen to it, it talks to you. Question. Can you give me any suggestions for my body? Answer. All the attention you bring to your body with love and light, will create alchemy far from what you know now, to which often you won't be able to give explanation, because I will act on your body together with yourself. This can happen if everything that you give to your body, that you do with your body, will be shrouded by love and light, because they create alchemy, if you do them by listening to your heart, because it will suggest the right things for you. Now you can leave what you learned, and learn to listen to what your body asks to you. Brings attention to food, it must have the aim of making the luminous body like a precious vase, which contains the greatest treasure. So the food will not cover other needs, and will give your body what it needs. The food very often becomes a means to stifle emotions, feelings, anxieties, to cover the needs, satisfy other desires, fill voids. Before eating, 
observe the food and listen to your body. Feel that it will tell you, this will make me stronger, make me more beautiful or, this is not good for me. Make this with anything you give to your body. Love it as it already is, be happy of what it will become. Not all the changes that will happen will always be visible, but your body will show through more and more light. Purify it to make it strong, to increase your feeling, to capture the subtle perception, to create even more space to light. So, more and more you will understand the body language, because the more you purify it, the more your sensitivity, your sensibility will increase. Think you have in your hands a very delicate vase that must be kept with love, that must be emptied in order to fill it only with light and love, that must be well polished every day so that it can always shine. Give attention to the body and, at the same time, to the heart, because if you bring attention to food, if you purify your body, but in the middle there are feelings which do not belong to the light, if you have heavy thoughts, sadness, these will overshadow the body, will heavy it, they will create difficulties. If the heart is bright, light, if it contains only light and love, we feel the need to ensure that the body is light and bright. Make the heart beautiful, do everything to make the soul more luminous, and what you do for the body, do it with the purpose to make it good for the soul and the heart. Sometimes you do things that make the body beautiful just to please others, but often this purpose prevents you listening to the voice of the body, the tips of the heart. If you make the body beautiful for the soul, for the heart, you will allow me to help you nourish it, purify it, make it light, bright, and transform it. Don't think you have to change or transform it, you have only to love it. Remember that the heart must be filled with light and love, the heart must be candid, the soul must remain free in the light. Then everything will happen in harmony, sweetness, and your body will shape it with light and love, will shine in all its beauty. If your whole body is fluid, love and joy will flow in it. The lymph which I will pour in it, will flow in it, it will create great alchemy, unimaginable now. Question. Are past memories in the body? Answer. Yes. You can help your body to remember past life, going out in nature, because it is your past home. Walk in the woods in silence, sit next to a tree, get down in the meadows. Take the earth, the leaves, the flowers in your hands, and bilge their perfumes. Listen to the music in them. And so do while you climb on a mountain or you are by the sea. Walk everywhere barefoot, bringing attention to what your feet feel. While you do all this listen to the sensations of the body, the emotions of the heart, the whisper of the soul. And then stay silent, and hear the music, the dances, the language of nature, its wisdom. What now can create you difficulties in doing so, then will fade, to give space to the desire to make all this more and more, because you are going to feel emotions, sensations, now unimaginable, you will feel the pleasure of being in your past home. There your body will receive a special energy that the earth gives, that those who live there and that you don't see now, can give you, that I will give you there. In nature, your body will receive the awakening of past memories. What can seem uncomfortable now, will awaken in your body, in the heart, in the soul, the pleasures of yesteryear, and past fragrances you don't feel yet, will be clear. Together with them past capacities and your colors will resurface. The sense of nature awaken memories, feelings, emotions quickly. The nature helps to perceive the unseen around you, the new that is waiting for you. All this will happen, if you live and do everything with the heart, in the light, loving what nature offers you. Question. Why my body is rejecting the purification I am doing? Answer. This happens when the body is used to receive things not totally pure. And also the body creates barriers when personality has created some walls, when in the heart all is not fluid. Then in the purification you must insist, and with love, accept the possibility that removing barriers is a little painful. This is because the purification acts deeply on everything, and often makes the walls of personality crumble. Then it is natural to feel some resistance. The body gets used to everything, even to poisons. Look how much effort you are asked in detoxification, 
for anything to be done. Despite detoxification bring strength and beauty, the body rejects it, or reacts with suffering to whatever is purifying it. And you know that there are also some poisons in the air we breathe, in the food with which you feed. That's why with the body you must have a lot of balance, and do everything with love, even when intensity is required. When you feel stress, but you know what you are doing is useful for your body, say. This is essential for me, with love now I go over the resistance of the body, knowing that only this way I can bring down barriers and walls. In the long run the effort becomes necessity, desire, because by purifying itself, the body will require what it first refused for resistance or reaction. Talk to your body as if it were a baby, explain to it that what you are doing, is to make it nice and bright. With love, take it to overcome its stress, its resistance, its limitations. And as usual, call me, ask me for help. We will do everything together for you to feel less fatigue, so you can feel my love that accompanies you in everything. Believe in what you do, believe you are ready to do it, you have everything you need to do. Here you can live your essence of warrior. Question. I would like to touch the limits of my body. Answer. To do this you need training, balance and a lot of responsibility. When you live a situation, remember that your body is experiencing it too. In the battles you do to overcome obstacles, difficulties, to win freedom, even your body fights with you. Loving him, wrapping it with light, you can help it to live everything. Be attentive to its signals, live everything with responsibility, talk to it, love it, reassure it. Always be very loving towards it. So, day after day, you can lead it to live new dimensions without fear, but with the joy of discovering that you can do with it much more than you imagined, that inside you there is much more than what you have known so far. Slowly, go over the point at which once you stopped feeling you couldn't go further, do not feel the strength to continue, this is how you will be able to go over everything, touching the limits of your body. Don't stop at the first gust of wind. Face with joy the winds around, and be sure that you own all the strength, all the skills to live that situation, or what you're experiencing, and to go beyond the limits known up to that time. By training every day to go, with love and joy, a little further than the point where before you would stop, you will get to touch the limits. Remember to do this, always with great balance and responsibility. You will feel that you can lead your body more and more further. So you'll make it strong, bright, you'll touch its limits, and you will also perceive that you have no limits. This you can do if you accompany the training listening to the heart, if you never listen with the mind, if you wrap your pace with love and light, if you do it only for your soul. And of course asking me to take you, to help you in everything, to instill in you my strength, to give your body everything it needs. Question. I would like to go beyond the limits of the body. Answer. Be certain that you own everything in you to do it, be aware that it is neither simple nor easy, and ask me to accompany you in this, to help you in everything. Then, when there is the sun, express your joy for the sun, even if your body does not want the sun in that moment. Do the same with the cold, the rain, the wind, and for all the little things that the body does not want at that moment. Don't feel that you're deluding yourself or you're tricking your body, but feel that you're acting to overcome your limits, starting with these little things. Don't think that the body does not feel anything, but feel that you will know how to live everything. The body can stay with its limitations, but you'll know how to go beyond them. And hunger, thirst, heat, cold can help you in this. Don't be afraid if it is difficult, accept that it can be but also feel that you can turn it into a game, and playing with me everything becomes easier. Don't forget to always act with great responsibility, balance, love, joy and humility. Remember that you will eventually come to real achievements, if you do it only for the soul, if you do it with the heart, in total humility. Question. How much should I sleep? Answer. The more you take care of your body, the more you purify it, the more you make it strong, the more you make your heart light, the more you feed the soul, the less your desire to sleep will be. 
and here too you can go beyond what you know now, with continuous training. But if at times you feel the desire to sleep more, do it. There may be times when changes, transformations are happening. They may be times when in your body great alchemy is happening, for what I'm doing, infusing in it. Question. You say that training leads to exceed the limits, but I just feel tired. Answer. Each workout creates tiredness at first, gives rise to the desire to stop, to make something else. But look at the winners, only those who train a lot, win a lot. And those who win, only express the joy of victory, they don't speak of the fatigue of training, because when they feel the joy of victory, they have already forgotten that every workout involves and requires fatigue. Question. I have a feeling that some of my physical ailments do not come from my body. Answer. As you increase your sensitivity, you can also perceive what is happening and vibrates around you, away from you. In the air there are things you don't see, things you don't know vibrate, which bring heaviness, or weaken your body. Give your body lots of love and lots of light, have a lot of attention and care, strengthen it in all ways. Remember that a great help for your body is the fluidity of the heart, it is living your essence. You will be able to live in a completely different way the pains in your body, if all flows within you, if you are in harmony with the whole, if you live your essence completely, if you feel a soul on the road, if you can feel me beside you and you ask me for help in everything. All this will protect you and will protect your body. Continue to bring it light, love it even more, give it the right water and food. Be aware that the more you make it beautiful, the more it will require attention, because, while becoming increasingly strong, it will no longer accept either dust or cloudy water. The more you purify it, purer and purer things it will require you, the more you cure it, more and more it will require special care. Do not confuse this with weakness or fragility, it is refining oneself, it is a bigger feeling. If you're for a long time in a room where there is smoke, you get used to breathe that air, and, in the long run, you forget that that air is bad to your body. If someone who was outdoor between the trees enters that room, he slash she immediately perceives that that air is not pure, feels that it hurts to the body, and breathes with difficulty. And this person is certainly not more fragile or weaker than you. This is what happens to your body. Always be careful to find out what messages the body can send you with its ailments. They can also be some recalls that it sends you to warn you that what you're experiencing is not good for you. Be careful at all, but live with lightness and serenity. Question. While I received a massage from a very experienced and known person, I had some unpleasant sensations. Answer. Smiling I applaud you for your being always so attentive to everything, to make your body bright, shining, pure, to be able to protect it too. Even with intent of heart, someone could tarnish this bright vase because it has not yet arrived where you are now you on the path to growth, and so he slash she doesn't have your same sensitivity. You can also meet someone who, knowingly, chose not to walk in the light, who chose to remove the colors from luminous and shiny vases. Sometimes, to do this, he slash she wears gloves seemingly bright, and uses words of light. So where you don't feel fluidity, serenity, let it go, get away, without judgment, without nothing to interpret. And with serenity, be attentive to everything, to everybody. If you ask me for help and keep your heart luminous and candid, you will always feel where there is really light, or where there isn't, beyond any appearance, any word. Question. How should I behave about the diet that I choose to do? Answer. First of all, don't call it diet, because your mind associates this word with deprivation, renunciation, and this creates difficulties. Feel that you are doing something that is good to your body. Act with much love and kindness, thinking of making the body more beautiful, while you are making the heart increasingly nice. Accompany everything with the light that you can infuse with your hands on the food and on your body, to help it in this endeavor, thinking that so you are making it even more beautiful and bright for the soul. And ask me to help you with this. Loudly say that your image is already beautiful, is already bright, 
because your heart contains light and love. Now you're just making it prettier and brighter. The image is the union of the body, the heart, the soul. Remember that the image is not expressed only by the body, but also by the look, by the words, the actions. So to be bright, everything should be bright, expressed in light, with love. Comment. If we remember that the body is the medium that allows the soul to realize its plan, to achieve its goal, we will love it with that intensity that will lead it to do unimaginable things, that will make great healing and inexplicable alchemy occur. The intense love will make it strong and protect it from everything, even from diseases. We learn to give it what it asks and not what old knowledge made us give. Everyone is different, has different needs, has its own story, so what is good for one? may not work well for everyone. Then, continuing to change, to grow, to evolve, what today we think good to do, or good for our body, could not be good again tomorrow. We'll feel that as we change, continue in growth, our body changes too, and, therefore, inevitably, its demands, its needs, change in all. As we learn to know it, to understand its language, it will be easier for us to give to our body just what it needs at that time. We will understand that sometimes it refuses certain things, even if we desire them, we feel they are indispensable, because they are not good for it in that moment. Loving it intensely, giving it the right space, the right attention, it will reward us becoming stronger and resplendent. The love that we will give it, will heal, protect, transform it, it will make it capable of things unimaginable before. So, with love, we will help it to go beyond the limits that, first, we thought existed. The strength of the body allows the expression of the strength of the soul, and allows our angels to carry within us their strength, the power of light. These forces have a so high vibration that can enter our body only according to what it can hold. Therefore, strengthening our body, we will give more space to these forces and the strength of the soul. We will then protect more our essence and the light, we will donate more intensely love around us. The body needs a lot of physical activity and long moments of meditation. It needs cleaning and purification, as our heart needs to be emptied of feelings and emotions, not loving, not luminous, to stay ingenuous. It is important to feed us with attention and listen to how the body reacts to the food we eat. It requires the attention and protection that are required by the heart and the soul. By respecting its limits, we can accompany it with love, light, besides them, so discovering that indeed there are no limits. It will thank us expressing all its majesty, shining with the light of the soul. We will feel and live the union of body-heart-soul. In this way we will totally express our essence and our image will be bright.